But for now, we're going to go over some matches in the loser's bracket. Yeah, we're uh, we're down into losers round one, I believe, where we've got Elijahman versus Ven up ahead of us. Elijahman, um, a Shulk player who I haven't seen too much of recently, but in this bracket alone, they were able to get some pretty big upsets. Most, uh, like most obviously, like over Axiom XL, um, the the Wario player who's made top eight at numerous high level events like the Box and other things so definitely a very very solid shulk but they're going up against well one of the best zeldas to ever do it so they've got their work cut out for them i think if there's any character that can well, make zelda suffer it's going to be shulk so ven's going to have a little bit of trouble here of course he's got very solid tools such as speed jump the monado arts in general on that range she's gonna have a hard time not feeling so suffocated as i think that zelda would be a character that takes a while to set up with things like phantom and her neutral and side b Right. Zelda's a very, very zoning heavy character, and well, Shulk just likes to run in and push the Nair button. Uh, and it, it can definitely be a pretty big problem for Zelda, especially with stuff like the Speed Monado, which Elijah Moon's already making pretty well, liberal use of. He's trying to chase Ven all the way across the stage. He goes deep for that edge guard. He does manage to make it back, and now out comes the Buster. This is going to be big damage here 87% already. And with Smash Art, the next big hit could very well do it if he decides to chase off stage. Good use of side B from Ven to force Elijah Min to just hold uh, hold shield on the ledge instead of trying to approach. And now he gets to come back to stage with that backslash. Right, after experiencing a long uh, sequence of just being ledge trapped, he finally manages to make it back to center stage. Gets the phantom hit. Now he's got Elijah Min into the corner until an overextension. And he's going to be switching to smash, so that's something he's going to have to worry about for the next few seconds. I really like that. Oh no, Ooh. Ven with the re-grab gets caught with the fair. I liked the idea of doing ledge drop up air to try and maybe get an early cheeky kill. Because I, I think for sure, uh, Smash Art Shulk would have gotten KO'd oh, by that. He's gonna from die. The counter. He's going to die to his own vision. Vision truly is the worst counter in this entire game. Did he burn his game, double jump before that? Uh, I don't even think so. I think he I think he got forced off stage by Vision and then buffered an air dodge, and that's how he died. I just honestly couldn't tell if the Vision had that much lag to it, but a great break if you're Ven. And he's brought it back to even despite our initial impressions of the matchup. Yeah, I really like the Ven's patience here. He's just kind of running back, playing his game. Good teleport in, and he's going to punish the over-aggressive recovery from Elijah. Man, Ooh, oh my goodness! Wow, if, if he got the sweet spot. That would have if been that had killed, an amazing clip. If that had killed, Dom, that would have been so cool. It was down air into the Phantom. Wasn't into quite the enough to air. close out this. Wasn't quite enough to close out the stock, but it came damn close. No, but damage is still damage. He's got the lead now. He needs one solid hit to get a stock ahead of, against uh, Elijahman. Buster Art could very well bring that uh, distance back between them close. It's already done most of that. Out comes the Smash Art, and this is still a super scary situation for Ven. He's got to get back to stage safely, and he does. He gets past the center stage control by Shulk, but a Shulk holding on to center stage is, is not something that you really want to be dealing with in a lot of situations. So Ven just getting going for that Tomahawk and There's catches the Elijah again. with the neutral get up. Yeah, these Phantoms are doing work. He's been making great use of them. He's using them to ledge trap, and he's also been using them as he recovers back to center stage to kind of interrupt Elijahman's own ledge traps. He kind of has, he's kind of been standing back and respecting the phantoms as Ven's been using them while recovering back onto stage. I think that's been playing a big part of his disadvantage. That's one of the biggest things that separates Ven from a lot of other Zeldas is, is their ability. Oh no, Ooh. f throw is going to kill at 100? That's ridiculous. Cannot underestimate. Just the power of the Monado as it is, as cliche as that sounds. This is the Monado's Smash power. <laughs> Almost gets oh, the high snap for... with the side B. That's what I was about to say. He goes for that uh, Din's fire all the way up high in the top last one. But the shield arc is going to come out to keep Elijahman safe. Just a little bit longer Just while we were talking about switches. how much work those phantoms <laughs> were doing. And he catches the jump back to stage. All right, Just as he switched off of shield into speed art, I believe. Uh, Ven manages to take game one, and what I believe this is a best of three? Yeah, I think we're still in best of three territory. It doesn't become best of five until until top three. I think it's just winners, losers, finals, and grand finals. Well, so well, in that case, mistaken about that. <laughs> but yeah, Legendman so may Ven... need to quickly find the answer. Yeah, Ven, uh, well, started out struggling a little bit. Didn't do too hot at the... And I'm, sorry, I'm looking no. at chat. <laughs> Didn't do too hot at the very beginning oh. of it. 
But uh, as soon as they started to figure out that, oh, my game plan here is just to... Oh, hello. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. No comment. The, um, the Richter scared me. Uh, hello, Richter. <laughs> it never scares me. Um, the If I'm a Lydgeman here, I'm thinking, you know, I, there was a little flub on that one, that stock that where he SD'd from the vision. And, you know, he, other than that, he was playing it very well. And he definitely has the potential to uh, tie this up. Yeah, that's that's where the the game started to fall apart because once he went a stock down thanks to the uh, the, the early SD with the vision, Ven just started to play Ven's game, which is go to the other side of the stage and set up traps, especially using that phantom. And once Ven had that space created, once they had the ability to start setting up those phantoms, that's where it got really scary. And well, they're going for the same thing here. I I don't know about this counter pick, Dom. What do you think about Town and City? Well, if you're going based off of a generalized donor archetype, one thing I wanted to say was Elijahman wants to make sure that he has the lead. You know, Zelda doesn't have the greatest approach tools, and if you can force her to approach you with a lead, like how he had at the beginning of the last game, that's going to be key to his success. But also, a large stage like Town & City is going to give Ven a lot more space, a lot more breathing room that might benefit him more. Right, Ven's game plan is, is, and Zelda's game plan too, like not just Ven specifically, is centered around, well, getting as far away as possible and setting up the big hits, especially with Phantom and especially with things that combo off of Phantom. So giving Ven this much space, this is going to be nice, a kill here if Shield Art runs But he mashes out. out. You could get a reversal here. Well, that, oh, oh, I would have been very surprised that kill. You know, I respect the attempt to go for the forward air. That he almost had it, but I believe he caught the landing with that up B. Yeah, Ven's actually like one of the few Zeldas that I see use up B as more than just a recovery, more than just an escape. He uses it as a kill tool, but a good, good I landing I think that's why he chose this stage. Um, Absolutely. He's going to have an easier shortest, time killing off the sides. Shortest side blast zone in the game, and uh, Smash Art Shulk is well, nothing to sneeze at. F throw, we saw it earlier. Back throw with Shield Art nearly killed. So I, I shudder right. to think about what like F throw on the top. It might kill at like 60. Honestly, he's done a good job bringing this back. Um, his Buster uh, Art is about to run out. Um, he's in this corner situation, and he's slowly working his way back. Um, so we got Ven in disadvantage here. He, again, he's using the Phantoms, and Elijah Min's going to have to respect that while she's recovering. Well, Zelda comes back to stage, and I really like the use of landing neutral B. It's, it's something that we, like, that's literally just the the Elite Smash Zelda, and what was that? Did the Wind Box just knock Elijah Min out of Ben's down? Smash! Wow! He, oh, and he mashes the fair out of fair. disadvantage, gets it out. Well, one thing I wanted to comment about the neutral B is it, it's a solid mix-up. It's like Mario's down air and a lot of these multi-hit moves where if you're constantly thinking your opponent's going to throw out a single-hit move, you're trying to parry possibly, and when you land with a multi-hit move like that, it can really throw off somebody's uh, timing, and they might drop shield early. And Elijahman definitely looking to try and take this kill early with Smash Art. It's going to go away. Hey, why would you get up into that? It. Come on! I mean, it's Wi-Fi. I don't know if he had time to react or he just guessed incorrectly, but just like that... Elijahman brings it back to even stocks here. It might have been a buffered ledge option, honestly, because Perhaps. Ven had like a, a year and a day to see that up smash being charged on mm -hmm. stage. It was nearly fully charged by the time he got up into it. So, I, I don't know, but it is going to bring us to even stocks. This last stock for Elijahman, and well, for good reason, he's a little bit reluctant to approach Ven here in neutral, but the neutral beat into the phantom hit is going to do so much damage and give Ven so much control over the stage, but he is going to relinquish it to the, the Nairing Shulk with Buster. Ven's been doing a very solid job, for the most part, in punishing uh, Elijahman's aggressive landings. We saw it a lot game one. He has the Phantom that covers so much ground here. He's going to get the oh. back throw. I would be surprised if that killed. I wouldn't have been. It's it's Smash Art on Town and City. Like Smash Art does exactly as much to Shulk as it does to to Shulk's opponent. Nice parry. Ben's gonna get that parry into the back throw to once again night. take take control of the stage. Work. Out comes the Phantom and Elijah has got to play so careful here. Scary with air the dodge. F tilt. Yeah, he's gonna get caught just mashing air dodge in disadvantage to try and escape. And well, then a, a player of that caliber, it's not gonna let that go unpunished. Going to get a really nice F tilt to close out the stock and the set. Again, it was the landings, the a lot of the aggressive landings that um, led to Elijahman's demise here in the set, and Ven just kept uh, eating up in those situations uh, in advantage state, and that's what got him a lot of damage, and in this case, the kill. So oh, it actually, hang on, I'm looking at the bracket, and it seems like uh, Frog 3-0'd PK Chris, which 
Not only means that Frog's gonna move on to fight 8-Bit Man, but that also means that I guess this is best of five territory, so that wasn't the set. Oh well, our mistake then, so can't complain about more games to watch, so uh, elijah has got his work cut out for him. He's gonna have to pull off a reverse 3-0 to survive in this bracket. Three, two, He's running it back to town and city. It was a close game. It was. It certainly came down to, to last stock, and it True. was very, very close to Elijahman being able to take this. So I don't, I don't like dislike the choice to go back to town. But I honestly, I would have liked to see maybe a smaller stage be pulled out here, like Smashville. I wouldn't doubt that Ven probably banned it, but I, I, I just don't want to see the the uh, the long stage with room to set up all the traps yet again. Right, but he's using. He just oh my visioned. God. He visioned the Phantom. Used Ven's own move against him, and you know, along with a great start to get the damage with the Buster Art, he's got almost a full stock lead now. Well, uh, we conditioning about maybe in game one <laughs> how that's like the worst counter in the game because it quite literally got Elijahman killed. Hey, got a kill there, and now well Elijahman has a huge advantage, All, a full stock up, and maybe very close to lapping Ven in percents. I really like their uses of uh of the the bu uh, not the Buster, the Monado arts. Um, a lot of a lot of Shulks are very like flow charty. Like this is where I use this art. This is where I mm -hmm. use this art. But Elijahman's like he's pulling out jump. He's pulling out speed and spots that surprise me, and using them to just kind of confuse and mix up Ven's options. And I really really like it. Right, he's, he's totally content with just sitting in shield here again. He he may just be playing the patient game. He's got the lead on Ven, and again, Zelda doesn't have the greatest approach options. It just seems like how Ven's going to be approaching is he's going to be <laughs> approaching with the Phantom, and as I say that, he, he went off stage trying to edge guard him, I suppose, and just now it's a two-stock deficit. Shulk's fair. Um, very, very good move, in case you hadn't noticed. And if you re-grab on ledge, Shulk is absolutely going to be able to hit you on that. I, I don't oh, even yes. Think that thing's like, got well enough range to hit ledge against pretty much any character. Yeah, I think even... So Ganon has the lowest mm -hmm. ledge hang animation yes. in the entire game, and I'm pretty sure that even hits Ganon. I mean, assuming that the hitboxes are the way that they look, it definitely looks like it can hit ledge pretty low. I really like how Elijahman has adapted to the, the use of Phantom instead of trying to challenge it either aerially or from the <gasps> Stretcher? Oh, wow, what? he might have held out. No! He might have DI'd out. He got stretchered. No, he got yes. stretchered on the He did get stretchered, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that was... What a steamroll. That's uh, This might just be the momentum that Elijahman needed to bring this back. I mean, we're going to have to see what stage Ven counterpicks here. Go um, down that was very impressive. the set into a three stock. That's a true combo if I've ever seen one. <laughs> very impressive. But again, you, you saw at the end, he had, Elijahman had the lead and he was just forcing Ven to uh, approach. He was just, he didn't mind sitting back, taking his time. And that's how you want to play with these leads against, against these characters that don't have the greatest approach options. Um, Ven mostly relying on, on Phantom to approach. He'll kind of, Ven will kind of uh, set up the Phantom pressure and to deal with that, uh, the opponent might have to shield, roll, or jump, and depending on what Ven thinks they'll choose, he goes into a mix-up situation with the Phantom like that. Yeah, it's it's very, like, it's it's flowcharty to a point. Uh, Ven, like, has very limited options until it actually connects, and then once it connects, then he can get very creative, but the, the setup to the creativity is actually very difficult to put on. Uh, right, there's time to opponent, it. Yeah, if your opponent is expecting it, and Elijah Min after three games of this is most certainly expecting it so so the mix-up potential with at least the combo starters becomes very limited for ven and this is where zelda starts to struggle as maybe you know not as great of a character as some claim in this game right he may be he may be adapting to the matchup as a whole um there is the mix-up with the phantom itself and the mix-up to when she's going to set up the phantom as well so there's some layers to this and there's that fair again catching the neutral get up and the the momentum fair yeah, He's Smash Bros. Does, does, well, it, it does so much work. It, it sets up so much, and it kills, too. So Ben's going to be going down a stock yet again here, and Elijahman has all the momentum in the world on his side. He's coming right out of a shield poke. stock on Town and City, but he is going to get caught by that shield poke, yeah, with Ben's landing back air. So that's going to be the stock gone. <gasps> no, he went a little ben. too low there. You know, what goes around comes around, so an SD for an SD, and... You know, Ven's not out of this yet. You know, if I'm Ven, I just gotta realize, um, you know, it happens. There's there's always that, like, potential here. Ven is up an entire game. They have one more to play with. 
I don't, I always hate like calling games early, but maybe Ven's mentality needs to shift onto the next game of the set. Mode. It's, it's a tough I wouldn't be too harmful to be either. It would, like, it's not a terrible idea to just, like, okay, GG's go next when you... Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't completely like bail mentally, because... Right, no, you, know, you want some you information. To, you want to you gotta be able to adapt. You gotta make a work for it. You gotta make him yeah, work for that it. that as well. That as well. But any, any adaptation, any information that he can gain, any conditioning that he can still do during this game will help for, for game five. So I wouldn't tap out mentally. Right, but he's, he's certainly got to start shifting his mental to, okay, what am I going to do for the last game of this set? Because, well, an SD like that, especially against a player who's playing as confidently and as competently as Elijah Man, it's going to be basically it curtains for 94? it. 94? Yeah, that's, uh, Smash Art Shulk is not okay. And Zelda's not the lightest character either, so makes it look Zelda's very a, strong. a mid-weight, is she not? She's about the same so? weight. Uh, let, me look, let me look it up. I'm not completely sure. I, I wouldn't assume. Well, yeah, just look it up. <laughs> Looks can be Zelda. deceiving. Mega Man's very heavy, and he doesn't oh, look Zelda, too heavy. Either. Zelda's a lightweight. She's 71. She is lightweight. All right. So, yeah. Well, who, who's around that weight? I'm not uh, I'm not too familiar same, with the numbers. Same weight class as Sonic, Little Mac, Young Link, Greninja, okay. and Peach. Relatively light. Yeah. So game five, let's see the stage. Counter PS2, most likely. But they might go somewhere completely different. It could be, yeah, okay, so it is going to be PS2. I was about to say it could be something along the lines of Smashville, but no. Um, and Ven has to be, like, I, I've lost count of how many times he's died to it. Ven has to be very careful of these uh, neutral Smash art. with, with uh, Smash Art Fair. Mm -hmm. He keeps dying over and over to it, and there, there comes a point where, okay, I'm just going to start rolling. <laughs> Right, who knows, Elijah Man, on his end might be waiting for the roll. He might anticipate after so many times, after killing Ven for neutral get up, he might anticipate him to uh, adapt, and we'll see if that comes out. Right, and that's the thing you have to be very, very careful of. But now Elijah Man, while well, he's playing the Nair game, uh, it's something right. that Shulk, among many characters, is, is very, very good at. He's also he improved on his ability. landings a bit. He's landing on the platforms now to avoid the the phantoms. Usually he was landing on the floor and he was getting, uh -oh. uh, he was getting hit for that. Uh -oh. Two framed. Is he Why? dead? Well, okay. okay, if Ven had died Barely. from that, I actually would have been mad for him. Doesn't quite break the shield. Nice air dodge against the side B. Let's see what option he picks. Get up attack. Haven't seen him go for that too often. Oh, that almost worked. I thought he was trying to counter the up B. So did I. I, I thought that he was actually out of range of the Phantom for a moment there. I thought he was going for the, the vision counter on, the, uh, on Zelda's teleport. Instead, he's just going to land with that back air, and now Shulk yet again has stage position, which means it's time to get that smash art out. I'm going to very quickly abandon it once Ben gets his feet back under him, which I really like. That's that's very good decision making on the part of a life. Very safe. It's a game five situation. Sometimes you can take risks, but that's totally up to him. He might want to save um, smash art for a later time. Oh, he's going to get up into that smash attack, but Shield is going to save him. This should be a kill here. So yeah, the up throw is going to take it out and then goes up one stock here. The other thing that I want to point out is this is a much slower paced game than we saw earlier. For the last five games, it, there were stocks flying left, right, and center. But for this final game five, it was almost two minutes gone before we even saw the first stock taken. Now then, trying to hold on to this, la this next stock for as long as possible. Trying to get as much extra credit as humanly uh, like as humanly possible so that they can make sure that they secure their lead. But Elijah Man, well, they're going to make them fight tooth and nail for every single percent. Right, we saw what happened in that Town and City game where uh, Elijah Man didn't mind forcing Ven to approach. And that looks like it's going to be his strategy once again is to... Uh, well, actually, no, he's not in the lead. I totally got that confused. Yeah, ben, but, ben has uh, the lead, so there's no reason to approach, and he's going to get the out-of-shield fair. That's going to kill, and now Ven's up three stocks to one. Uh, a huge well, now he's going to have to make some how much This is going to be an F-throw kill. Oh, not no. quite. Stalling himself is... with the neutral Bs. He gets the two-frame still. Very impressive, despite Ven trying to mix up his timing before grabbing the ledge. Speaking of very impressive, this adaptation in Game 5 has been great from Ben. He went from getting 3 stocked in Game 3, 2 stocked in Game 4, and now he's got an entire stock lead looking for all that extra credit as Elijah Man tries to land with these Nairs. And, well, he's doing a great job of it, but that neutral B is going to come out and make sure that he can't ride the Nair train forever. So Elijah Man with his back against the wall, he's, he's kind of trying to plan out his approach a little bit more, but it's not quite working at the moment. 
One solid punish, and there it is. Ooh, there it is. Not quite. I really did, like did the iframes beat that out, but ooh, switching to shield art might have hindered his recovery there. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Yeah, I'm not not entirely <laughs> sure how that happened. Uh, but I believe he.